16 years ago, this thought came in my mind. When will you pursue your dreams? Once you have a family and a kid, that day you will be regretting that you didn't pursue your dream and now you don't have time to pursue your dream. So it's better to pursue your dream when you are still in college, still young, you still have 10 years. And that's the exact message I want to give to every, every girl child, every female student in life sciences field. Now, why female? Okay, it, it is applicable to males also, but females more, I will tell you why. So, I was just, just five, 10 minutes before this, okay? I spoke to a girl, um, she's from Haryana and she's doing her master's in Rajasthan in a place called Bhiwadi. And then she told me this, that, sir, I finished my master's, now I'm clueless what to do. Now parents will be precisizing for marriage. And then she said that, okay, uh, so if the parents are precisizing for marriage, the society demands that I should be employed now because I did a master's and the relatives are already taunting. And then I don't know because I want to pursue my research and PhD and nobody is understanding. So this is something which I'm sure you will relate to. And I have seen it in my elder sister Neha Ma'am's life, uh, who happens to be my guru and co-founder. Even for her also this happened. You know, while you're still in college and while you're still almost passing college, this is the time when you can pursue your dreams. Because once you get married and go into somebody else's house or whatever, you know, you get engaged or married and that life begins, it becomes really difficult to come back and do your PhD or do your job or gain some experience or do some lab hands-on and training. And I get a lot of emails from... Uh, married women who want to restart their career because now they are done with the marriage and kids and now they really want to start. So, you know, but if you, do, you don't have a prior experience of like five to seven years before the marriage or PhD, that becomes very difficult for you to restart. Okay. And that's the message which I wanted to give you to all of you. It looks like very simple. Okay. Uh, you know, it's all dreamy world that I passed my master's, I'll get married and then uh, but after that, what happens is once the marriage and the kids are done, then there will be a vacuum. You'll be like, okay, the kids have gone to the school. Husband has gone to the office. What should I do? So, but if you already have five to seven years, 10 years of experience in the industry, you can easily go back. Okay. You can take some hands-on at Biotechnica, brush up your knowledge with our scholarship, and then you can easily go back into the industry and get started with your career. But this is the time to build on your that career. This is the time to build on your dreams. This is the time to pursue your PhD. Later on, your age will be gone. The age limit will be in place. And then you can't even do a regular assistant professor job also because you're not net qualified, right? So these are the problems which will happen. So, you know, um, in my uh, school and college, they used to say that I'm always 10 years ahead of time, right? And I always used to warn my people, like uh, my colleagues also and uh, classmates that I used to warn them 10 years ahead of time, like, what will happen 10 years later. So probably if you are in the age of 22, 25, this is the right time to build your career, my dear child, because later on, once you are, uh, you know, married or probably into a job, you can't really come back and do a PhD. You can't really come back and do your uh, research work or whatever. So while you are still in bachelor's, while you're still in master's, start learning new things. College will keep you busy, but, you know, just spare out two to three hours per day and keep learning new things, attend some workshops and webinars at Biotechnica that will be more than sufficient to, you know, update you on the latest what is ha happening in the industry. Just to give you example, uh, like, did you know that in last 24 months, $165 billion has been invested into cancer research? Nobody knew, right? So many startups have invested into one, $165 billion into research and now cancer biology is going to boom in the next two years, right? So now, who will tell you that? These workshops will tell you that, right? Because these workshops are conducted by uh, experts from US, UK, Europe, China. So that's where you have to remember that you have, this is the, this is the time, age, age and, uh, you know, place to grow. Later on, you'll sit regretting that, Kash, Shekhar sir ki baat sunni hoti. I should have heard Shekhar sir's advice and uh, now I'm regretting. Please don't do that, okay? Instead, act now. Now coming to those people, those women who are already trying to get started with their career, if there is a career break or there is uh, like you're a fresher and you got married immediately and now you don't have any experience. Okay, no problem. Come to me. My email ID is shaker at biotechnica.org. Drop me a mail and tell me what exactly is the situation. I'll guide you what best can be done. One generalize I can tell you is start with some workshops, start with some networking, start with some work from home jobs, freelancing jobs and slowly build upon your profile. And then you can go ahead and pursue a job in the industry also, right? 
now there, there is nothing bad or something like okay getting married and having uh, children and a family is not a bad thing but if you have not gained prior experience then later on it will be difficult to start but if that is the case also you can always start you need some personal guidance and mentoring which i am always available to do now last point for everybody is please don't give up please don't think that you will never grow please don't think that you cannot restart please don't don't think that you can't change your career path everything is possible it's just a mind block okay everything is possible just try just try take the next step take the first step and you are going to win and if you have any questions or comments put them down in the comment section and i would love to take them thank you so much see you soon in the next one till then keep shining bye bye